All right, today we are on the last of the figures before we get to the actual review of the helicopter itself. And today we're taking a look at the last one, number 145 in the classified line, David Crazy Legs Thomas. This is what actually sold me on the set. Uh, my brother's favorite, or one of my brother's favorite G.I. Joe's growing up was Crazy Legs. Um, I actually just repaired one and gave it to him for his birthday. Um one of the original figures. So this is something that sold me on it because it brings back childhood memories. Um, but yeah, that's really what sold me on the set. Uh, let's go take a look at the box. Now the box, you do get that lovely artwork. You do get the artwork of him and you do get all that lovely stuff. Now in the original toy line, he, he wears red, but you'll see here it says Night Force. So he's actually part of the Night Force subset as well as the Dragonfly subset. So he's kind of part of two different worlds. Um, and I do like the black better than the red. The red always bothered me as a kid. Um, but yeah, that's just me. Let's go get him up and up. We'll take a look at his accessories and go from there. All right, so we do have Crazy Legs out of his box. And I dig it. I've, I like it. Let's go take a look here at his face. Now, he does come with like a little bit of 5 o'clock shadow going on. He's definitely got that nice little crew cut. He does have that dragonfly symbol. He's got red as an homage to how he should look. He does come with his webbing. He's got a holster. You do get that pattern. He had that weird scaly pattern on his original toy. And he does still have that just in black. And I can't wait to get the... I really hope that they continue on and that you get the one that's basically in red. Because I will buy that for my brother in a heartbeat. But he does come with quite a little bit here. <laughs> the webbing looks good. Sorry for the hiccup there. Again, standard articulation. You know what to expect at this point. I do like that they could have been cheap in giving these guys the same body. And they don't. He is definitely more musculature, more bulky, whereas Ripcord is more thin. So I do think that is a cool little thing. Like, they're not just using the same body. At least to me, that's how it feels. And they definitely have different things. I mean, completely different torso, paint, and stuff. As far as accessories come, he comes with his backpack. And again, you get the red that shows his parachute. Unfortunately, no actual parachute involved. He does get his gun, which clipped off on me when I was opening it. So he does get this lovely machine gun, which is very, very much the original. Looks like something should plug in there. Hmm. He does get a handgun. He does get his helmet. He gets a baseball cap and he comes with two, uh, a knife and he comes with two pairs of goggles. And the reason for this is his original toy had goggles over the helmet and then you can put them over his head instead as well. So that's my theory. At least I think that sounds right. Let's go ahead and see how he looks. Let's go ahead and put the baseball cap on. Cause what a ridiculous thing to have, but now crazy legs Holds the distinction of being one of the first G.I. Joes to get killed in the comics. He never appeared in either the Sumbo or the Deke cartoons, but that's all right. Uh, his death, I think, was from the Saw Viper, along with Doc was the first one, and then Crazy Legs, I think, uh, Crankcase. But I'd have to read it again. It's been a long time since I've read that comic. So let's go ahead, and he does get a knife that slides. Ooh, I like that. The handgun, of course, goes into the holster here, and it fits very nicely. So, like I said, he does come with the two sets, so you can put this set of goggles on. It's really tight, so I probably won't use these ones. I have them on upside down, don't I? I have them on upside down. Yeah, there we go. So he does look cool. It's a cool set. It's a cool extra thing. And I do like that with these HasLab figures, you are getting a lot of accessories. Definitely makes it feel more worth their buck. Um, more worth the money, rather. Bang for the buck, I guess is what I wanted to say. Oh, this helmet does not want to go on. There we go. So yeah, now you got his classic look. You can go ahead and grab the other pair. Go ahead and bring it up and over the helmet. Maybe. Again, upside down, Mike. Doesn't really fit too well, but you get the point. Yeah, it's cool. I dig it. Oh, you can put them over. <laughs> I'm half-assing it. 
but yeah it's a cool figure i dig this one um again this is the whole reason that sold me on the set is it came with this figure and you know my brother and i and our neighbor steve growing up played with gi joe's all day long so this is a fun feature to have and to add on the helmet's really really flimsy though so do keep that in mind but yeah it looks good it looks cool and of course let's go ahead and get him his gun Again, i don't know anything about weapons so the shoulder thing here or whatever it is is popping off like crazy but i do like that he comes with it because that's the original toy did as well so he has this extra like shoulder support so when he gets his gun out maybe he can shoot while paratrooping yeah i like it i dig it it's a cool little feature and i love that they all match and they went with the night force look for him so that he matches ripcord and the helicopter now while bill and glenda don't really match but i do like that these two do but yeah that's the last for the figures now we're gonna go and try to figure out where i can make, create space enough where we can take a look at this helicopter because there is so much to talk about. Hi folks, thank you again for watching. I just want to remind people that they can always like, subscribe, and check out these videos here. Thank you very much for watching.